Bitcoin, the only thing that's more volatile than the president's dog. After reaching an all-time high just a couple of months ago, the world's most popular cryptocurrency has been cratering lately, thanks to an endless onslaught of bad news. Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are under pressure amid concerns that China may escalate again its crackdown on the industry. Your morning crypto check, Bitcoin has been all over the place. It had a rough day, certainly over the weekend. It fell after Chinese social media platform Weibo suspended several crypto-related pages. Bitcoin giving up most of today's gains after the U.S. Treasury calls for a crackdown on crypto accounting. The department says it will require transfers of $10,000 or more to be reported to the IRS and describes crypto as a, quote, significant detection problem when it comes to taxes. Check out the cryptocurrency sliding over a tweet from Elon Musk. The Tesla CEO tweeting hashtag Bitcoin with a broken heart emoji and a picture of a couple talking about a breakup. Ah, oh, shame, man. You know, I don't care if you're a person or a currency, nobody wants to get dumped in public by a tweet. The only way to get dumped that's more embarrassing than that is if someone objects at your wedding and it actually works. Oh shit, is that Brad? Oh man, I didn't know Brad was singing. Come on up here, baby. Get out of here, get out of here. I didn't know he was around. Come up here, baby. Now, it's bad enough for Bitcoin that it's number one fanboys off the bandwagon, but the real threat to Bitcoin is increased crackdowns from the likes of China, and the IRS. And it turns out that they're not the only ones calling for more regulation. Former President Trump pouring cold water on the Bitcoin crowd, dissing the original cryptocurrency. The currency of this world should be the dollar. And I don't think we should have all of uh, the Bitcoins of the world out there. Bitcoin, uh, it just seems like a scam. I think they should regulate them very, very high. Regulate them very, very high? Never before has a person born and raised in America talked so much like a European guy who's trying to blend in. I think they should regulate them. How you say, very, very high, yes? Now, to be honest with you, I would have thought Trump would be a huge fan of Bitcoin. I mean, it's a way to both hide dirty money and destroy the environment at the same time. What's not to like? But keep in mind, just because Trump calls it a scam doesn't mean that he's against it. It just means he's probably working on his own version. Like I say, there's a 99% chance that by the end of the year, he's gonna introduce the Trump coin. It might look like a Chuck E. Cheese token, and you can only use it at Chuck E. Cheese, but that's called the blockchain. Now, lots of people have wanted to regulate Bitcoin for a long time, but what has always made that so difficult is that it's untraceable. I mean, that's why it's the preferred payment method of drug lords, international hackers, and people who subscribe to my OnlyFans. It's where I wear my skimpiest hoodies. But now, people who assumed that nobody could see what they were doing with Bitcoin might be having some second thoughts. The Justice Department has managed to seize a big portion of the money that Colonial Pipeline paid to Russian hackers. On Monday, the Justice Department said it seized 63.7 bitcoins, which is the equivalent of $2.3 million, more than half the ransom payment. Cryptocurrency is favored by cyber criminals because it allows for direct online payments regardless of location. But in this case, FBI agents obtained the private key or password for the cyber criminal's cryptocurrency wallet. Bitcoin was designed to be, let's you know, to put it, to put it e easily, it's, it's, it's untraceable. It's designed to be untraceable. This is a first, as far as I know. The DOJ recovered 85% of the Bitcoins paid in the ransom, but since then, Bitcoin has lost a considerable amount of value. So what Colonial Pipeline got back is worth $2.3 million, or $2 million less than what they originally paid. Damn! The FBI managed to track this ransom down and take it back. This is a huge blow for Bitcoin's reputation. I mean, Bitcoin without untraceability is like Superman without any powers. Now you're just some creep with these underwear on the outside. I don't want you catching me falling from anywhere. And if you're a hacker, now what do you do? I mean, if Bitcoin is not safe, I mean, maybe instead of using high-tech money, they need to go the complete opposite direction. Demand all their payments in seashells. And not those broken seashells either. I want the big smooth ones where you can hear the ocean, so I can always remember this magical day. So, Bitcoin 
is facing a lot of headwinds right now. From increased regulation to the FBI tracking it around the internet like it's a black guy in a department store. And hopefully you didn't buy Bitcoin at its peak in April because as of today, it's down almost 50%. But it doesn't seem like true believers of Bitcoin are going anywhere anytime soon. This morning, the surging popularity of cryptocurrencies on full display. Bitcoin 2021, considered the largest crypto conference in history. Honestly, it's exhilarating. I feel like it's fresh, it's new. It's so interesting to see people come from all over the world. A sold out event with some 12,000 ticket holders. It's the most exciting event in the world right now. Flocking to see headliners from Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey to boxer Floyd Mayweather. Speakers, investors and scholars talked about the crypto's rapid growth and its future. Elon Musk was in the crosshairs of the Bitcoin faithful. Wow, okay. I don't know what's up with that guy, but I do know you can't roll up Bitcoin and snort anything with it, so we can rule that out. But honestly, after seeing that, I'm back on board, man. Because yeah, Bitcoin is incredibly volatile and unpredictable, and now the FBI is tracking it. But on the other hand, it does seem fun as hell. I mean, you get to go to huge conventions in Miami with thousands of people, and you get to hang out with crypto Willy Wonka. I mean, you don't get that kind of energy from fans of the dollar or the euro, and you definitely don't get it at the seashell convention. All right, everybody, what we're gonna do now is put our money up to our ear and listen to the sound of the ocean. Ah, ah, my money has a crab in it! Ah, somebody help me!